We're weaving wondrous tales and crafting captivating games in this Kickstarter preview episode of Little Big Thumbs. Welcome to Little Big Thumbs, where we are always on the hunt for games that are equally fun for little players and big players. My name is JP, and in this video we are going to be looking at one of the most unique products we've ever featured here on the channel. And it's called Design Your Destiny, Running Out of Time. Back in 2019, Canadian game designer Jay Cormier brought the Fail Faster Game Design Journal to Kickstarter and into the hands of game designers all over the world. And now Jay is back at it, teaming up with American designer Blaze Sewell to create a new product to help both kids and adults learn more about designing board games. Normally our Kickstarter videos include an overview of how to play a game as well as the three uniques that make a product stand out in the wild world of crowdfunding. And we're going to try to keep with that formula as best we can today, but as you'll see in a moment, we can't really teach you this one. But stay tuned, and we'll do our best to show you how to design your destiny. Now before we go any further, let me start by saying that everything you're going to be seeing in this video is from a pre-production sample of the package that is going to be heading to Kickstarter backers. Some of the physical game elements may change in size, shape, color, and more before it's mass produced and sent to backers on Kickstarter. And with that out of the way, here's the deal with Design Your Destiny running out of time. Inside the box you'll find an assortment of dice and discs tokens and tiles, and even a few meeples, but the centerpiece of the package is a colorful 100 plus page coil bound book. Inside that thick stack of coil, you're going to find the beginnings of a chapter book, which takes us on the wild time traveling adventure of young siblings, Natalie and Charlie. After every couple of chapters in the book, we enter the story ourselves by way of a quick board game. Which is where things get interesting. You see, each of these games are not quite what they should be. Sometimes they're lacking in interesting decisions, and other times the games aren't fair to some of the players, and a lot of the time the starting games are just not terribly fun. And while you might think I'm about to be in a negative review, those flaws are actually the whole point. In each of these mini-games, our goal is to identify what's not working about them and try to find ways to fix the games. We're encouraged to make small changes to the game, and with each iteration the book asks us to answer three important questions. Is the new version more fun? Is it fair to all of the players? And do our changes add meaningful decisions? In addition to making those changes, we're asked to track our modifications and their impacts on the game in pages that are reminiscent of the Fail Faster journal we mentioned at the beginning of the video. Earlier in the book, we're offered suggestions on what changes to start with, and as we go deeper into that experience, the training wheels are gradually removed. Throughout our journey of fixing and tweaking games, if we engage with the coil-bound book in particular ways, your group will be allowed to mark your progress with stickers that help to rebuild the time machine and help Charlie and Natalie get to the end of their story. Now, I don't want to spoil too much about what's inside these pages, but one thing I do need to point out is that we're actually asked to design a dexterity game as part of the journey here. And if you've watched Little Big Thumbs for any length of time, you know that we love our dexterity games. There's a lot to explore and re-explore with Design Your Destiny, and while we can't really go much deeper in this particular format, I do think that this probably serves as a half-decent introduction to the product. If you'd like to learn more about the creations we came up with while working through this game design workbook, make sure to let us know by leaving a comment down below and maybe just just maybe we'll offer a sneak peek into one of our own creations in a future video. All right, let's throw up one of those little transitions and we'll be right back with our three uniques for Design Your Destiny, running out of time. All right, the first unique I'd like to point out here are the stickers. For kids, nothing signifies accomplishment more than getting reward stickers, and while I've seen that in a few games before, the way we earn them in Design Your Destiny is unlike anything that's ever been done before. And at certain points, it's a lot of work to earn them. 
it takes reading chapters of a book that is, at times, fairly dense for a young reader. And the playtesting process requires a lot more focus and patience than your average board game. So when we do get to place a sticker at the back of this book, it can be quite meaningful. Our next unique is what we're going to call the light bulb moment. Some of the best experiences in board gaming are those magical moments when we, or the people we're playing with, connect the dots of a game and realize how it all makes sense. And seeing that twinkle of excitement when my kids come up with an idea all on their own to improve one of these mini games, well, that's a different kind of agency and accomplishment, and it's really something that's truly special to watch. And our final unique is that Design Your Destiny is not just for kids. Creating a game with children can be a lot of fun, but in this case, we found ourselves coming back to our Design Your Destiny creations even after the kids were in bed. And those designs inspired further conversations about creating our own games from scratch. And for the creators of this product, that has to be the end goal here. To not only take folks by the hand and help them learn more about the game design process, but to encourage them to create their own original board games with a vast toolkit of playtesting concepts to get them to a viable, playable game in the shortest amount of time, which is where that Fail Faster moniker comes from. Now, this isn't necessarily meant to be a product review, but you might be able to tell that we've been beyond impressed with Design Your Destiny. We've seen plenty of books try to walk creative dreamers through the process of game design, but the narrative journey here is accessible in a way that no other traditional resource book could possibly accomplish. So there you have it. That's our look at Design Your Destiny, as well as the three uniques that make it stand out, at least from our perspective. If this seems like a project that you might like to back on Kickstarter, we'll be sure to include a link to the campaign in the description of this video. It launches on Kickstarter in September of 2023, so even if you're watching this a little bit later, you'll still be able to follow those links and learn more about this unique gaming product. Thank you to Jay Cormier and the Fail Faster team for giving us a sneak peek at Design Your Destiny. And as always, thank you for watching along. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And until next time, whether you've got little players or big players, make sure that you keep playing games that make your thumbs go way up. Bye for now.